Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel, Maths with Panindra. In this video, we are going to discuss about the examples in ellipse topic in mathematics 2D. Let us have a discussion. The question: If a tangent to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to one, a is greater than b, that means it is in the standard form. Meets its major axis and minor axis at the points. M and L respectively. Then prove that a square by c m square plus b square by c m square equal to one, where c is the center of the ellipse. See here, first if you draw the figure, you will get idea. If a tangent to the ellipse, it meets major axis and minor axis at the points M and L. <coughs> This is the figure of ellipse. The center A A dash is major axis, B B dash is minor axis. Here I am assuming any point on the ellipse P of theta. P of theta means A cos theta comma B sin theta. Tangent equation. Right, it will be tangent meets major axis at M. That means here, this is M. B B dash is minor axis. It meets at M. So this is the center. So we want C M value, C N value. So for the first step. Let us consider. Let p of theta be any point on the ellipse. What is p of theta? That is, p of theta means a cos theta comma b sin theta. Parametric point it is on the ellipse. At this point, find equation of tangent. Second step. The equation of tangent. The equation of tangent at p of theta to the ellipse. Is X by A cos theta plus y by b sin theta is equal to one. Equation number one. This is the equation of tangent at p of theta to the ellipse. This equation only. This is equation number one. Equation one meets major axis at the point M. Major axis means here x axis. Equation one. Meets major axis at M. Then y is equal to zero, sir. Why, sir? You are writing y is equal to zero. Major axis A A dash it is indirectly x axis. On x axis, which coordinate is zero? Y coordinate is zero. So y is equal to zero. Substitute in this equation. Therefore, equation one implies that x by a cos theta plus zero is equal to one. From that, make the subject as x. So, x cos theta is equal to a. That implies that x is equal to a by cos theta. X is equal to a by cos theta. So how the value of x? Whenever point is here, this C M is x intercept. That is, C M is equal to a by cos theta. C N is called y intercept. 
So similarly, equation one means equation one means minor axis at the n, then x is equal to zero. On minor axis means y axis. On y axis, x coordinate is zero. Therefore, y is x is equal to zero. Substitute in this equation one. Equation one implies that x by a cos theta. Sorry, x by a is zero. No, yeah, zero plus y by b sin theta is equal to one. From this, y sin theta is equal to b. Y may be the subject. Y is equal to b by sin theta. Here y represents y coordinate c n. Y value is equal to c n. Therefore, that is c n is equal to b by sin theta. After getting these results, consider prove that they are saying. So now consider LHS. What is the LHS? A square by C M square plus B square by C M square is equal to A square divided by C M C M value A by cos theta A by cos theta whole square plus B square by B by sine theta whole square. So which is equal to a square by a square by cos square theta plus b square by b square by sine square theta. So a square a square b square b square get cancelled. Denominator of denominator numerator. So cos square theta plus sine square theta. So sine square theta plus cos square theta value is equal to one, which is there are there are asking, which is required solution. Therefore, a square by c m square plus b square by c m square is equal to one. Hence the result. We we'll move on to the next question in the next video.